Hey, what's up guys, Ricky here. And today I'm very excited because I'll not only show you how I've integrated the XP Pen Pro 24 into my photo editing workflow, but you'll also get a chance to win one for yourself. Thanks to our folks over at XP Pen. More info on that later though, so stick around. But first let's talk about the tablet itself. So the 24 Pro has a 24 inch 2K screen. So apart from being a tablet, it's also a super capable second monitor in my opinion, and has great color accuracy for video, photo, or any other kind of editing that you have to do. To be honest, I've wanted to edit photos or video with a tablet for a very long time because I know a lot of photographers, they actually prefer to have a stylus to edit their photos, but I never got around to it. So of course, when I received this 24 Pro, I, I had a learning curve, honestly, like everyone does, but it was not bad at all. And after a little while, I got totally used to it, especially because this model has a big screen, of course. So you see what you're influencing with the stylus as you're doing the movements, which is super, super helpful. Now, before I move on over and open up some photos for you guys, I want to quickly talk about what's in the actual box itself. So of course it includes a power cable, an HDMI as well, and also a Thunderbolt cable, which is what I'm using to connect it to my MacBook. The stylus doesn't need charging, which is super cool. And there's extra tips and a whole extra stylus as well. There's also the standard microfiber cloth and a screw with a piece that holds your stylus and you can choose which corner you want it on, either the left or the right. The top right is touch sensitive, so you turn it on on the very corner and adjust the settings with the other spots to the left of that. And all of these buttons and the two dials are customizable, so mapping shortcuts to them is super handy. So after installing the XP Pen program, all you have to do is open it up, of course, go through the settings, you know, the calibration, the express keys. That's how you map the shortcuts to your liking. So the undo button, the brush tool, like all of that, you can just map it here. So K1 is, you know, the top left button and it goes down to 20. So it has a ton of customizable buttons and I opened the system preferences because you have to go to arrangement. And again, it's like an extra monitor for your laptop. So you have to tell it where it is. My laptop on the left side and the XP pen towards the right. Let me just fix it a little bit right there. And pretty much you're ready to go. So it's pretty simple. Again, you should really take the time to just customize it to your liking. So on the pen, you can actually bring this, this over here and then you can just see the pressure and pretty much adjust how, how much pressure you wanna add. You can also change what these buttons do. So there's two of them. And right now it's the pen slash eraser for the second one. And the first one is the right click like on a mouse. So that's totally fine with me. So let's head on over to Lightroom and pass some photos so we can edit them. Okay, so here's my setup. On my left side is my MacBook Pro 15 inch and on my right side is the 24 Pro by XP Pen. Now what I suggest you guys do though is to avoid having to go towards your left side to type and use the trackpad if you have to while you're editing photos or doing whatever, maybe changing the Spotify song, I don't know. <laughs> Should get like a keyboard that you can attach to it so you can have that in the middle and also maybe a trackpad if possible. So you can have that towards the right side. So it's like keyboard, trackpad, screen, screen. So I give myself six options. So what I like to do is build previews one-to-one -one so it doesn't drag like loading every time I go from one photo to the other and then just hit import. Okay, let's click it. So the left dial, um, I did it to zoom out and in. So let me just go to develop. I, I think that's why I didn't edit it. <laughs> the quality was kind of low but i don't know guys there's a lot of noise i don't know if i should start editing this one but you know what let's just do it let's just go through the basic so you know add some contrast bring up the shadows bring down the highlights right there uh bring down the blacks add texture the rotation and i'll probably need to fix that right there there's a lot of noise guys you know what let's just go with the brush See, this is really cool. I don't I don't like the color blue. I keep mentioning it in videos, but it's just not really my favorite color in the photos. So I usually desaturate the blue, dodge and burn, which means that you know you lighten certain parts or you darken certain parts of the image. With the city, it's not I mean you could definitely do it, but usually it's with a portrait, you know, of a person, you dodge and burn their face. This pretty much highlights certain features of a person. So of course in the city, if you really want, for example, the, I think it's the Aeon Center, which is this tall building right here. If I really want it to show up, I just go to new, new brush, 
pretty much move up the exposure, fix everything, and then lower the brush size. And then, you know, now it just totally sticks out. So yeah, this whole photo is really dark. You know what, let's move on over to the next one. First things first, I should of course go through the basics tab. You know what, to, to brighten the bottom of the, of the image, I'm gonna do a gradient tool. And of course with the stylus, you can just drag up. Okay, that's a little too bright. So let's just bring it down to about 0.5. And then let's do the brush. And I'm just gonna brighten some of the buildings like I did in the other one. So. So another really cool use for having a stylus is spot removal because you know you know exactly what you want to take out. So as you can see, I brought up a lot of clarity and I don't know if it looks a little bit too cooked. So let's just bring down the clarity and the texture. In the 30s, it was way too too harsh. So, yeah, let's see this one. All right, so now that I have this second photo in Photoshop, I want to get rid of the stuff over here. Let's do the spot healing brush tool. Let's just paint over it, see how it comes out. That looks perfect. Now the other thing I kind of want to do here is just get rid of this building that's popping up just so it can be a clean bottom, a <laughs> clean bottom. And so yeah, what should I do? Hmm. There's so many ways to do things in Photoshop. So maybe I, I mean, I guess the easiest way is hopefully this works. It's just the lasso tool right there. And then you go to shift five so it can content aware and then fill it. There you go, that's actually not that bad. So that was a quick walkthrough of my photo editing station. Now that I have the XP Pen Pro 24, it makes it more enjoyable to edit photos. Also with a huge display, again, it can be your second monitor. And of course, if you like to draw, then this is your, your tool, right? So it's an all around awesome tool. And this is the moment you guys have been waiting for, hopefully, because you can possibly win one for yourselves. All you guys have to do is go to our Instagram at Pexels, and there's gonna be a post with instructions on what to do. I'll put a link down in the description to the exact post, but I highly encourage you guys to both follow Pexels and XP Pen on Instagram to see amazing photos and also to see awesome products and tutorials. So that's it for me, guys. Send me a message if you guys have any questions. Now head on over to Instagram and participate in that giveaway. I'll see you guys in the next video.